Hey y'all, happy Wellness Wednesday. So this is Sherry, if we haven't met before. I'm actually a real live professional therapist that practices in Jasper, Alabama in person and then I practice all over the state of Alabama with telehealth. So I come to you today with a Wellness Wednesday video using some real life setbacks. So I wanted to share with you about how to use proven psychology to help yourself get over a setback. So I learned about this technique actually in more of a professional development kind of way. And so I love passing these kinds of things along because there's really a thin line between kind of uh, doing therapy to um, improve our mental and emotional health and professional development. So I'll tell you a little bit um, about the resource that I'm gonna be using today. It's a book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz, and it's not a new book, it's actually an old book, and you can find it for free as an audio book on YouTube, and I'll put the link in the comments. So kind of what I wanted to talk about out of the book is how to learn to think positive, you know, when you're dealing with irritating setbacks like this. And so there are um, some little tricks that I wanted to tell you, and I was gonna take it straight out of the book. So your mind is actually a thought factory, like it's producing thoughts all day, every day. And anybody that's ever had trouble sleeping, like you know this, <laughs> you'll be laying there trying to go to sleep and you know your mind just kind of goes everywhere. You know, thoughts, they just keep on coming. So production in your thought factory is actually under the charge of two foremen. And you can name these, like if you wanted to work on this, you could name these anything that you wanted to. But in the book, Dr. Schwartz calls them Mr. Triumph and Mr. Defeat. So Mr. Triumph is in charge of manufacturing positive thoughts. He specializes in producing reasons why you can, why you're qualified, and why you will. So Mr. Defeat, he specializes in negative de deprecating thoughts. Um, he is your expert in developing reasons why you can't, why you'll fail, why you're weak, why you're inadequate. His specialty is the why you will fail chain of thoughts that some of us catch ourselves getting trapped in sometimes. Both Mr. Triumph and Mr. Defeat are very obedient. So they snap to attention immediately as soon as you have a thought that's either positive or negative. Um, Mr. Triumph will step forward and go to work if the thought is positive, and if the thought is negative, Mr. Defeat steps forward. So I wanted to share about kind of what happened with me and how I noticed all of this working. So that was what was really cool. So um, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I work out and so I'm also 46 years old. So this is the first injury that I've had in probably over a year. So I'm not complaining at all, but you know, kind of when it happened, it was some bad timing. Um, I had first gone to the doctor and figured out that I had tennis elbow. You would think that I did something to my wrist, but tennis elbow is when you are, you've done something where you've gotten your wrist um, and like kind of doing that kind of movement. So that's what uh, these um, splints are for. And so um, I had gone to the doctor about, uh, let's see, the left one right before Thanksgiving. And I'd gotten a shot, I'd gotten some exercises to do, and then I got sick with COVID. And then my husband did, so I forgot all about all of that. And so then by the time I was well, I went back to class. I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. Well, then they both started hurting. And so then the doctor was closed, you know, for Christmas or whatever. So I had to like wait and deal with the pain. And I couldn't figure out exactly like what it was that I was doing to keep them hurting all the time. And so I had to stop everything. And so I allowed Mr. Defeat, you know, like I was talking about, I allowed him to kind of come into play um, like Monday morning. So I work for myself. And so I had two of my patients, because it's a holiday week, cancel right in a row. So when they cancel, lots of times I don't get paid. So that's really um, not a fun thing. But then Mr. Trump spoke up and said, ah, oh, Sherry, now maybe you can get in the doctor to see what's going on with this pain, with this tennis elbow that you have. So sure enough, I called and they were able to work me in. So 
I kind of let Mr. Triumph uh, direct my action at that point. So I got in and he was able to give me a couple more shots, which really hurt. But I knew that if I could kind of stick it out, because I had gone through all this before, Mr. Triumph reminded me that the pain would be less probably the next day. And so when I got these splints, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not going to be able to go to jujitsu for um, six weeks because that's when my follow-up appointment is. See, that was Mr. Defeat talking. And then um, I'm going to gain all this weight. I'm going to outgrow all my clothes. I'm going to cook. <laughs> I'm going to forget everything that I know about jujitsu. I'm going to lose, you know, just negative thoughts. So I let Mr. Defeat take over there for a while. But then I've learned, you know, from listening to that audiobook several times that I could let Mr. Triumph come out. And so Mr. Triumph reminded me that, you know, no, I can't like kind of pick things up. And yes, I'm going to have to make some changes, but I can still work on my cardio. And cardio is very important for um, jujitsu. And I even had the thought of some things that I had been wanting to do, but really hadn't been able to do. And so I acted on those. And so there's a friend of mine that goes and I guess she kind of checks dogs out from the pound and then takes them on a hike. And since I'm not doing jujitsu and tied up with that, I can go with her. I can't like hold, you know, a dog because I can't have like that pulling or whatever. But I can absolutely go on a hike with a new friend with a dog and enjoy that. And then there's this gym here in town uh, in Jasper where I live that is run by this guy that was a professional football player and he does all of this different kind of training and I always wanted to train with him but my love is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so I've just kind of stuck with that. Well now I get to train with him for a while and of course he can accommodate you know my injuries that I have. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to see Mr. Triumph and Mr. Defeat in action. So Try this. Try thinking today is a lousy day. Mr. Defeat is signaled into action with that negative thought. He begins producing facts to prove you are right. He suggests that it's too hot or too cold. Um, your wife is going to be fussy. Business is going to be bad today. I'm feeling a little sick. Do I have the Rona? You know, we all have that thought. Um, Mr. Defeat will say things like, you know, your coworkers are mad because they have to work today. You know, all of this negative chains of thinking. And so Mr. Defeat's really efficient. And so he has you sold in just a few minutes that this is going to be a lousy day. Now tell yourself, kind of switch gears. Now tell yourself today is a fine day. And Mr. Trump is signaled to act. He tells you, yes, today is a wonderful day. And here in Jasper, Alabama, the weather outside is fantastic. Like, I'm totally comfortable in short sleeves today. Um, let's see. He will say the weather is refreshing today. He will say it's good to be alive. Today's a great day to catch up on some work. And indeed, it becomes a good day. So if you struggle with setbacks, like we all do, you know, this year has been a year of setbacks for a lot of people. Kind of train yourself to recognize when you've let Mr. Defeat take over and force yourself to have some kind of positive thought and then let Mr. Triumph take over. The more work that you give Mr. Triumph or Mr. Defeat, the stronger that he becomes. If Mr. Defeat is given more work to do, he adds more personnel and takes up more space in your mind. Eventually, he will take over the entire thought-producing manufacturing division, and almost all thought will be negative. And so many people, you know, that I work with, they find themselves, you know, right there with that. And so it's kind of hard in the beginning to come up with a positive thought. But if you really think about it, there are not many things that are all positive and all negative. So just training yourself to give Mr. Trump some room to step in and let that be something positive. So you got to learn how to fire Mr. Defeat. Use Mr. Trump 100% of the time and he'll show you how to succeed. So the way that I've been doing that, you know, myself, because it is, you know, a struggle and a choice is, um, you may notice my hair looks a little crazy today. 
<laughs> you know, so be it. We got to let the rough end drag. You know, my makeup is not exactly how I want for it to be. Um, you know, I've had to uh, make more trips to get like all my gear in the car and stuff like that. So it has been a struggle, but I've been reminding myself to really look forward to this Saturday going and meeting a new friend, going and meeting some new dogs because I love dogs. I'm just not home enough to take good care of one. And then enjoying these new physical activities that I don't usually get to do because I devote all my time to my love of jujitsu. So that's what I invite you to do. The next time that you have a setback, you know, yes, if you catch yourself with Mr. Defeat, make that decision to switch gears and let Mr. Triumph come and take over. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this Wellness Wednesday, and I hope to see y'all next year for next Wellness Wednesday. Y'all have a great and happy new year. Be safe.